Well, after the free Balochistan ad campaign on London caps sparked tensions between Pakistan and Britain, the group behind the campaign, the World Baloch Organization, is at it yet again. And this time round, they've put up the slogans on buses, and it's only likely to cause a deeper rift between the two nations. The Vion's Mandy Clark brings you the story. More than 100 buses have been driving around London with free Balochistan plastered to their side. It's part of a campaign by Baloch activists highlighting Pakistan's alleged human rights abuses in the region. Pakistan has, for years, for decades, successfully obfuscated the, their crimes in uh, Balochistan and uh, they've uh, succeeded uh, to a great extent in uh, hiding the truth about Balochistan. Uh, they haven't allowed the international press, uh, international NGOs, human rights organizations, or journalists to go to Balochistan. It's unclear how long this campaign will run, since Transport for London, the public body that runs the transport systems, cancelled the same black cab campaign after Pakistan complained it was sinister and malicious. The buses carry messages including save the Baloch people and stop enforced disappearances. Mangal says he expects that Pakistan will demand to pull this campaign as well. This is a generation that is strongly committed to uh, a peaceful uh, campaign for its rights and emancipation. Even if Pakistan successfully stops the bus campaign, Mengal insists that their voices will not be silenced and the World Baloch Organization will continue to peacefully and respectfully speak out against human rights violations. Pakistan has called previous campaigns disrespectful and a direct attack on its sovereignty. Mandy Clark, Weon, London.